on the Jacob Beer show today, I'm so happy to have on Ethan Fritch, um, who was the prom king. Congratulations on that. Thank you, Jacob. Um, and he also is just a good overall person. He's had a lot of jobs. Interesting person, you know. I've interviewed, this is my 100th interview, so thank you all who have listened. Um, but what's special about this one is there's some people that you just got to interview. You're not famous for anything yet. But, you know, it's one of these things where it's like, we just got to do it. Like, like it would be a regret if I didn't interview you, even if I had on Beaver. Like, it would be a regret to not interview you. So we're going to do this? Yeah, sure thing. Let me, um, you mind if I say a word real quick? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say that, you know, I've been um, – I've known Jacob for a long time, uh, probably since, what, middle school? Or uh, even, sixth, even sixth grade, grade. And you transferred from, I think, yeah. Triton, yes. right? And I've known him for a long time. And, you know, we haven't – we've never been, like, the best of friends. But I've always known him, and he's a really good guy, and he's doing really good stuff. And uh, the Jacob Beer Show is just awesome. I mean, there's nobody else doing anything like it. So I'm really uh, – I'm honored to be on the show, and I'm glad you're having me on. Thank you. I appreciate that much. And there are other podcasts out there, but, like, some of these singers that I've been on or astronauts, it's like, whoa, do they go on, like, college kid shows even? No, and here I am the second to last day of high school, you know, having – my 100th interview so we really appreciate it so um you're going to iu this fall yes we'll get to that kind of towards the end um you've had a lot of jobs yes without elaborating too much just name off the jobs all right so um my first job was at mcdonald's um second was hannah haunted acres as like a scarer and then the third was after that it was walmart and then chick-fil-a and then Great times, then Olive Garden, and now I'm at uh, Cracker Bro, my favorite so far. So, and um, there's more than just the jobs that we'll talk about because I wouldn't waste your time with just jobs, of course. Um, what, what what's been your favorite job and least favorite? I think Cracker Barrel is an amazing place to work. I mean, I, I really, I just love Cracker Barrel. Um, you know, I never really went there to eat or anything like Olive Garden. I used to always go there before I had a job, but just knowing Cracker Barrel, you know, everybody's so nice there. They're kind. And, you know, I'm not like a big country person, but it's just a really cool job. And I appreciate all my uh, friends and the stuff I do there. So, yeah. For sure. So let's now discuss some other things. Um, what is the best sport to watch? And not so much that maybe it's your favorite sport that you enjoy, but what would you say is the best sport to watch on TV? You always hear people say baseball is in, is better in real life or golf is better in real life because you can see it up in the air and the camera doesn't move as fast. What would you say is your favorite sport to watch or the best sport to watch when it comes to TV? Um, I would honestly, I would say um, the best sport to watch is undoubtedly football. It's not really that hard to tell. Basketball is a second but I feel like football has the most, you know, it's just the best because it's just, it just is, it's orgasmic. So for sure. And by the way, I do apologize about this moving like that. Um, but you learn different things from interviews. So there will be good stuff that comes out of this interview. No doubt about it. Um, what would you say? Yeah. And, and normally as the host, I don't chime in, but uh, yeah, football is fun to watch. So um, if you haven't yet, uh, NFL and college football is back this year, and with every COVID restriction done, go right on ahead and watch it. So yeah, fun stuff. Um, a couple other things I just want to talk about with you is, what would you say? And you know, there's all sorts of people that listen to this show: ninety year olds, eighty year olds, sixteen, seventeen year olds, eighteen, nineteen year olds, college students, which were college students now. Crazy to think about that. Second to last. What day. What's your regret? Do you have any regrets or no? My biggest regret is not coming, you know, on the Jacob Buer show sooner. And also, um, my favorite thing to do at school has been messing around. And uh, I reg regret some of the things I did in my second year, uh, my two years of high school that weren't as fun and were honestly kind of stupid. So I'm just glad, you know, I, I got my my friends, you know, I, I'm glad I got to know Jacob and weightlifting and stuff. And uh, yeah, my biggest regret would probably just be a uh, horse and not horsing around enough because I don't take high school seriously. And that might be a, a hot take, but I mean, I still got good grades, but I just I love horsing around. I love being mischievous. I won't be able to do that later. So, yeah. Interesting. Normally you hear the exact opposite from kids, but uh. Yeah, this is what makes this interview interesting. Um, 
kind of the last thing I want to get into is, and this is a sports argument here. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and then one with your future plans are LeBron James or Michael Jordan. Now, before we answer that, I should mention, um, who was it? Ray Allen, who's a Celtics guy, said LeBron would be a six man, meaning he would not be starting on his ideal dream team. Um, he put like magic ahead and which magic's very good too. But who would you kind of say, you know, are your top five? Um, top five. And try to go in order from one to five. So okay. like, yeah, try to go in order. It doesn't have to be by position point guard to center. It could be five point guards. If you think five point guards are the best, do you really think Dirk Nowinski is the best? You can say him and Tim Duncan in first and second. That's your opinion. I might not agree with you, but you're entitled to your opinion. Okay. So I, I like the freedom of the Jacob Beer show. Um, personally, if I'm running a five man squad, I know this isn't exactly what you asked, but I can't think of the five best players. But by position, I have to say, um, st- at point guard, I'm running with Steph Curry because I think, um, you know, people have mixed feelings about him, but I got to say, he's probably the best point guard of all time. I mean, He's up there with the greats. So, and then shooting guard, obviously Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's the go. He's the best player of all time, and that's my my opinion. And I know you asked me that as well, but I really think he's the best and the second best at uh, small forward with LeBron James because LeBron James is really just he's he's just amazing, but he just doesn't have that dog in him like Jordan did. And uh, for power forward. See, there's a lot of options. I mean, I, I'd have to probably go with Tim Duncan because, I mean, I, I know he's kind of a boring pick, but I'd say, you know. No, I'd probably... love to interview him on the show if he's listening. Tim Duncan, you're invited. And uh, at center, the best center of all time. Shaquille. I mean, Shaq, too, but, like, there's there's the older guys, like Will Chamberlain and stuff. That He got 100 points in a game. I know. I'd probably put Will Chamberlain or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I just don't know much about him. So. And Jacob Bura, I wanted to go ahead. And uh, ask you a question on this podcast. Um, something really controversial, all right? And something that will get the blood flowing. All right, so what do you think about abortions, Jacob Beer? Um, so we're not going to answer that question on the show, um, but I'm always happy to individually talk to people. So um, I appreciate that, but I'm not going to answer it. Um for many different reasons. Yeah, um no, I, I understand. And it's I know this is a freedom of speech show, but um that's and I'm not gonna cut this out because that's not what we do at the Jacob Beer show. But um yeah, I mean that's an interesting question. Um I will say this though, since that's a little bit on the political spectrum, we should not be having Joe Biden and Donald Trump as our choices in twenty twenty four. Two people over the age of seventy five is horrible. There's a lot of fresh faces on the Republican side. There's a lot of fresh faces on the Democratic sides in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, and I think we should be looking at that. So that's as much as I'll say political-wise, but um, kids do research on other candidates besides President Biden and President Trump um, because there are better options out there. Even if you feel like there's not, there really are better options. So that's all I'll say on the political side. Right, um, I, got, I got another question. Yeah. Um, you know, you asked me – well, my biggest regret was in high school. I kind of let you know, you know, first couple of years, I didn't make the most of it. What was your biggest regret in high school? Like, I just want to know more about you. Man. Yeah. So freshman and sophomore year, um, of course, freshman year fall, I did some campaign work, um, which was a lot of fun. Um, I, that's where I made a lot of the connections and politics. The show's different. I email and call people and all sorts of things. Just insane at that. But um yeah, I did that. So we had Saturdays where we would walk to houses and door knock and ask people to vote because um, there was an Indianapolis mayor election. So anyways, that freshman year, I couldn't play a sport because cross-country sport I had done was on Saturday. I don't regret – I don't really – honestly, at first I regretted it because I only did sports um, junior and senior year cross-country. Junior year spring, um, I did volleyball, and in senior year spring, I did track. So I definitely got a good amount of sports time out, but I do kind of wish – Maybe I would have done track um, sophomore year when I wasn't doing any campaign work and I was literally just going home and watching YouTube videos every day and doing interviews because I had done uh, my show for about five months. So I regret maybe not doing track sophomore year spring. Yeah. I don't regret being outspoken or being loud um, because 
that's who I am. And um, I don't regret it. Perhaps could I have had a girlfriend if I was more quiet? Maybe. I don't know. But also, um, I think everything's turned out okay. I'm still here. So, that's, that's, yeah. That's, that's, Sorry for a long explanation there. Um, but, yeah. But, no, definitely I would say people should do a sport or a club um, or have a job. And, and there's more than just YouTube. And you might be thinking, wow, it's really fun watching YouTube. I've had some really good memories. I worked with the get-go. Sage Halter, who I worked with, good memories with him. Um, good memories with Gage Bratton at Getco, Will Morris, who have also gone to New Palestine High School. So a job is more fun than you think. Yeah, like um, that. Any other th- questions? Oh, I was just going to add on to what you said. Um, that's so that's unbelievably true. Anything I do at school, I'm going to look back on and remember it real fondly. I'm going to remember our gym classes with me, you, Dave, Jonas, Coffee. I'm just great people having fun. Coach Ralph. Coach Ralph. I mean, I he knew Coach Ralph is a great guy. He's also appeared on this show. I don't think he ever liked me, but <laughs> I appreciate him. And um, and, he and taught enough, you a lot, right? Yeah, of course. And uh, just in high school in general, you know, I know it's come to an end, but. New Palestine High School is one of the greatest high schools that in the country. I mean, we have amazing staff, amazing teachers. I mean, every teacher, when, when you say every, almost you can't every even teacher, say names because there's too many. Yeah, like, I mean, there's just amazing teachers here. And uh, New Palestine, I've gotten in trouble here. I've been on the, the end of getting into trouble, and um, I don't think I was ever treated unfairly. I mean, I, I feel like every teacher, you know, if you're a good person in them, they're a good person to you. And I feel like New Palestine is one of the best schools of all time. And the class of 2023 is definitely the best class that is in this building right now. And I know that's, I, I mean, I, that's just simple. We, we bring energy and I, I just, I, I'm, I'm very appreciative of everybody I went to high school with. And, um, you know, I, we might not see each other until like a reunion or something, but I'll I be, definitely I'll be missing it. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to the reunion. Oh, I'll, I'll be seeing you, Jacob. I'm sure. For sure. Um, and one other thing I'll just say is, you know, our class, what was interesting about it is there's a record number of people going to post-secondary education. Now, that doesn't just mean college. It means trade school. But, you know, the number of people, you know, doing something their life after, regard, regardless if it's being a plumber, which, by the way, trades make a crap ton of money, mm. um, more than probably all of us going to college. So congrats to those going to trade school. Yeah. Uh, record number of people going to the military. Um, who have respect for our country, I think. So that's a good thing. And then a lot of kids going to college, you know, that might become doctors or lawyers. So lots of great things. And, you know, um, look, the grades before us, not as many people did activities and they just slept all day in class. I swear. Our grade is like, you. I mean, if you're in our grade, you know what I'm talking about. You know, most people listening to this podcast are probably either 2022, 2023, or 2024. So uh, if you are in the class below us, uh, make it fun and don't just sleep in class. I'm telling you, I mean, our our class has been unbelievable, and I just feel like, Jan- like uh, Mr. Voles, Mr. Michener, and uh, all of our teachers just have an amazing, amazing thing going here, and I can't shout them out any more. That I've had the most incredible time at New Palestine High School, and I'm gonna miss this place. And I, I've honestly, I'm going to college. I would never, I would not mind. You know, I'm I'm setting my sights big, but if if push comes to shove, and somehow I end up coming back here and teaching or something, I I wouldn't mind at all because this is an amazing place. And um, also I did think about going to the military, but I don't think I'm cut out for it. So <laughs> it's not. You maybe should have taken Ralph's class more seriously on those uh, long Wednesdays. <laughs> oh. Um, so I just want to say. Thank you so much for coming on Jacob Beer Show today, and best of luck at Indiana University. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? Like I said, I just appreciate you, Jacob, and I'm going to miss you uh, going. You know, we're not going to be in the same college or anything, but, yeah, thank you so much for having me on the show, man. And I look forward to talking to you about the IU and Purdue rivalry in years to come. So, well, thank you so much, Ethan. Thank you. Jacob. Privilege is mine. Let's do a handshake before we end it, and I appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed on YouTube, subscribe. If you're not following on Spotify, follow on Spotify. If you don't subscribe, I'm going to rip out your spine. That was good. Uh, That last part was good. It's not like people always listen to the end. So (laughs) thank you so much.